Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, this is the uh, Iron Range Geek Reviews and today we'll be uh, talking about uh, Siege Springer he is the uh, he is a Voyager class in the third wave and let's kind of take a look at him right now and as you see he is in his uh, ve uh, vehicle mode he's got all his uh, uh, like it's all like dirtied up you know from the siege line as you can kind of expect now he's kind of almost like his uh, G1 almost like his G1 self you know he's got uh, you know for the details he's got some very nice you know molded details as you see Got some like yellows right across here. And yellow right there. And he's kind of got like he's all green and he's got like a hunter green right here. And on the bottom, some light green or neon green, whatever. Uh, some some off white and some blue or whatever color this is uh, and some yellow for the thrusters and he's all dirtied up in the in the back as you see and dirtied up on on the top and as you notice he, he does come with his accessories which is this this gun right here which you can plug on in like any of his ports you know like uh, right here or here or here or on any of the little ports that he has even in the back you know he's got a another gun which can combine with this gun as you see so you can have like a, a longer gun you know you can post it here or you know have a car gun or a car with guns now it's all up to you how, how you want to you know, display them and he does come with this uh, spinny thing and he does come with there's two of these swords and they do go right in here and which make up the copter blades in helicopter mode and it does have some nice molded detail on both sides. Even the, ro the rotator piece has some nice detail as well. And yes, as you see, like right here, he is FX parts compatible. See, here's just like that. And now, back to the figure, or to Springer. And as you see, or as you know, in the G1 cartoon, Springer was a triple changer. And we'll get 
to the transformation right now. And what you do is lift up on, on this piece right here just ever so lightly flip these down almost like going into robot mode and then you spread apart his feet my, or legs Just like so, and they hook into this tab, you know, when going back, and then fold the other foot, and then take out this piece, this, this side, and then you do the same for the other side like that and then what you do is kind of spread the legs because you have to kind of pull it out like that just to uh, form a copter piece and then you turn legs over like so and then you do the other side as well and then what you do here is untab this as you see you know it tabs in right there for car mode and robot mode and then Flip this wheel out, makes like a little copter wheel, and then you do the same thing on the other side, like so, and then you bring those two together, see, go, one side goes into that little slot right there, like so. So, just like that, squeeze it together, and then you do that with the uh, uh, little tail fin. It just gets all squeezed together, and then what you do is turn his foot like that, you know, just like that. Then you do the same thing on this side, you turn it just like so. And then you bring them in just ever so like so. And so it kind of looks just like this. See? And now you bring the top piece down and make sure that they all line up you know so they uh, so the tabs go into these uh, slots right here and right here and the two right on the feet yeah, just get that all lined up here that goes down just like so Get that all squeezed up and then what you do here right in the upper part kind of open this part up here And then bring it, bring out this piece. Now, then you pull that out. 
and then bring up his arm again and just tab it in flip it over and that will become like a little uh, wing and then you do the same thing on the other side see you just do the same thing flip that out turn that over bring that arm up and flip it over and now this is the kind of the toughest part but you gotta know what you're doing you gotta line it up with you gotta have like I think either this tab or this tab going to this slot right here for a copter mode so you just bring it in and line it up and we just bring it in get everything all you know lined up here bring it in close that up and then make sure that everything's nice and tight do the same thing on the other side here Should come together and there and there is a few more things be before I say he's a helicopter you take this piece here and you add in his sword pieces here like that and there is Springer in his vehicle or helicopter mode and see as you see it does spin you know and if you wanted to you can add in this effects parts right here and if you had two of them you know can make it look like it's spinning around like that but you know like all uh, transformer youtubers say you know it's your toy display however you want and you know looks pretty good it's almost kind of remnant to his uh, G1 self but he's more updated you know and now let's get him to his uh, uh, robot mode now what you do here is take this off set that to the side And then we'll start with the back piece. Oh, you're doing is flip this up. Let's see now. Yeah, there you go. Move this up. And then unpeg everything. Like that. And now, let's see. We'll unpeg that and unpeg that. And 
now we unpeg this port and close that up like so. Do the same thing on this side. And then we split the legs like so. And now, what you do here is like right here, right in this area, you just close up the legs, bring them. And spin this around 180 and then clip that back, fold in the tail fin, fold that up, and then we uh, move that around, and there's one foot all done now we do the same thing with the other side Let's bring that up bring that down turn that 180 and then fold that in fold that up and make sure they're squeezed together bring that down and we have another foot all done uh, now, what we do here is untab or unhook everything from here, fold or undo this piece, and push that in, fold that up, and then we Fold that in, I'll actually move that in more, see, so it folds in, nice and compact, and there, we got one arm all done, and then we fold up this piece, well, actually not quite yet, and then, we kind of do the other side, fold that in, or fold that up, fold that down, and fold that like that, push that in, bring that, uh, yeah, see, and then fold that in so it becomes his arm. And then fold that down, fold that down, and that becomes his arm. And now, you gotta take this whole section. And we just Kind of pull right there so it kind of frees up from this little section. And then we undo these pieces here. And then we kind of Let's see, kind of got to move it up on this hinge, and then bring it down, and pop open that, so it, like so, and bring down the chest piece, fold those in, and close that up. Like so, and now this is the uh, hard part. Well, technically, it's not really that hard, but okay. 
now. See, kind of got Springer right there now. Just got to line up so it tabs into these little holes right there and here and do the kind of line it up where it hooks into like right here and right in there so we just line everything up do one side here Gets all lined up and do the same thing here, this side, and that has to tab in there too. And get that all lined up as well. Oop. Same thing on this side here. And you do the same thing here. It's got to line up in these tabs here. Or the slot, whatever. And let's see. Lined up and see. Yeah, I know it's kind of hard when doing this being from behind the camera here. Let's see. Now we got every thing lined up. Rotate his head. And I think we have Springer. Here, let's move the camera back a bit more. In robot mode. And there. I think we got everything. I think he looks pretty good for what he is. And he does look like Springer. Here, let's kind of zoom in here. Yeah, he does look almost like his G1 self, but more of an updated. And as you see, he's got you know, all dirtied up, just like you see in most of the Siege line. And he does, like I say, look pretty good. And now for, you know, the articulation, his arms can do a 360. You know, but, you know, some stuff do get in the way. The arms do a 98 degree at the elbow right here. And hands do rotate. Head swivels. 360. And let's see. And then the legs you can do a high kick. You can do a back kick and he does have knee joints right there for posing mm. does over like 90 degrees and his and he does have like for ankle tilts for posing as well 
and for the weapons you know he can you know hold his weapons you know like this like that see and also you can put the weapons in, in his hand or on his arm here or right here or on top you know like right here or or you know like back here or you know any of the little ports you know yeah, let's take this out And he can have his, you know, sword pieces, you know, so he can hold those too. See, and then he can also. If you really wanted, if you want, or yeah, if you wanted to put the blades back in, like so. Ah, oops, he fell over. And if you wanted to put the blade piece, you can have it like that. And then take the gun pieces, put them together, and put them in his hand like that. You know, just like that. But, you know, like I say, you know, it's your toy display. However you want. Now let's move that to the side. And then let's get them all set up here. And no, I don't do comparisons. And, uh, anyway, yeah, this is, uh, 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 Siege Springer for the, uh, in the, uh, third wave. I think he's a great figure for your collection. And... You know, he's a pretty good triple changer, but, you know, I just have him for a display piece, but everyone does, you know, what they want, you know, but all in all, these siege figures are great figures to add to your collection. Anyways, this is the Iron Range Geek Reviews signing out.